my man Jake, big dog from New Jersey, doing some deals. Doing some deals in Cleveland. What? Why is my guy Jake doing deals in Cleveland? Because they're expensive in Jersey, folks. Now, Jake, uh, recently showed you a Burr deal, right? For those of y'all who don't know what Burr is, is buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? Shows you a Burr deal because you're interested in that. But here's the issue. Yes, Cleveland is cheap, Jake. Uh, but it's not as cheap as I think you think it is, right? You only got eighty grand to work with, which is more than enough to do a lot of deals in this market, right? But when you're doing a bird deal and you have to be all in cash, it makes it tough, right? Because that's only going to lead us to the kind of deals that I sent you last time, right? Deals that are super distressed, a lot of foreclosures, a lot of deals where you're going to be limited to the due diligence you could deal with when you're buying like bank owned stuff and the market just it's there's like a just such a housing shortage it's like the basement prices keep getting risen up and up and up and i know you're a little uncomfortable with the last bird deal because uh there's going to be some wide openness to that bid right risk reward right the victor goes the spoils bro little bruce arians action here no risk it no biscuit okay so if you want to do the bird deal on such a low budget, you're going to have to be a no-risk-it-no-biscuit kind of cat, and it doesn't seem like you are, and that's okay, brother, because you don't need to do a bird deal. Honestly, I think you're trying to reinvent the wheel. Your whole goal ultimately is to get a bunch of passive cash flow, but you don't want to tie up a bunch of money into your deals, right? That's essentially what you told me. So I uh, zigged when you were trying to zag, right? What I got for you here is a deal you're not going to burr at all, dude. Uh, it's going to limit your risk incredibly, and you're still going to accomplish your goal, which is not having a ton of money tied up into it. As a matter of fact, this deal, my opinion, you're only going to tie up 24K, right? If you do a bird deal, uh, this is 2022. You're not doing a bird deal where you pull all your equity out. It's not, it's not hap where you pull out all your cash. It's not happening in 2022, bro. So you do some of these bird deals, you still end up with like 10, 15, 20 Maybe $25,000 still into them, right? Depending on how it goes, right? If you're lucky enough uh, to create 10, 15K in equity, of course, you're still going to have money tied into the deal, right? Not as much as if you do a traditional deal, but that's why I found this particular deal for you. It's so low cost. You're only going to need a tie up 24K, bro. So you got 80K. So instead of like trying to stick a square peg in a round hole right now uh, and doing deals that are more risky than you're comfortable with, with your 80K budget, you could do three of these deals, right? So without further ado, Jake, let's check out this particular deal that I think is actually going to be better than what your original plan was. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here to help y'all get some deals done. This deal. Pull, if I could pull up the damn picture. There we go. Look at this little guy right here. I like this, man. This is good stuff. Nothing flashy, nothing sexy. Uh, but look at this, man. Nice, fresh-looking driveway. Just a good quality, low risk home, right? And it's basically rent ready, right? It's clean, it's fresh. Is it the Taj Mahal? No, uh, but that's not what we're looking for, right? We want clean, crisp, ready to rock and roll, low cost. Look at this furnace right here, right? This looks like it's almost brand new, folks. 30 years, that's how much life you're gonna get out of that sucker, right? And they cost like 3,500 to replace. Hot water tank lasts about 15 years, costs about 1200 a place. That's looking like it's in good shape, right? This is just a nice, safe, solid house. Doesn't require a lot of work. Now, they originally priced it too high, and they've come down in price a couple times, and that's good. That's what we really want, right? This is just a regular mom-and-pop seller, made a mistake, priced it too high. Now it's been sitting on the market for so long, people are probably freaking out. They're thinking there's something wrong with it. It's been on the market almost six months why? Is there something wrong with the property? I don't think so. We're going to find out, though, right? We're going to make our offer contingent on inspection. But in my opinion, I think the seller just did what a lot of sellers do. This is the biggest mistake they make. They overpriced it. I mean, it's like dating, dude. Like, the longer you're single, 
the more people think you got fucking problems, man. Like, dude, fellas, you see some super smoking chick, right? And she's like 40 and she's super hot. You're like, whoa, bro. How come nobody's wifed her up yet? She must be. Woohoo! You know what I'm saying? Same thing with real estate. You overprice it. People start to think it's a uh, problem, pro problem house. I don't think that's going to be the case. But in real estate, it's trust but verify. So, of course, we're going to verify with our own home inspection, do our appropriate due diligence. But I believe we're going to take advantage of that situation. They want 107.3 with their latest price reduction. I think we could come in, offer them 96. We get this thing for 96. This is a steal. Why? Because I'll be able to put a tenant in this bad boy for 11 and a quarter. Man, this is a nice, like, super high C, maybe even low B neighborhood. Very low risk. Unlikely you end up on the Tenants from Hell show on Holton Wise TV if you're the owner of this property, right? Now, with that 11 and a quarter, we can go Section 8, we can go cash, right? We got the pick of the litter, right? The more people we're offering it to, lower our vacancies are going to be, higher our returns are going to be, okay? So if you're collecting 11 and a quarter, I believe after running your fixed and variable expense estimates, we're going to be making a little bit over $7,200 a year, right? Almost seven two and a quarter, or almost seven two two fifty, 250 right? 7249 is the number. Now that's an estimate, folks. Some years will be better, some will be worse. But you have to understand, I have factored in things like your capital expenditures, right? So that's like saving money for that furnace and the hot water tank I talked about. You don't even got to worry about that, right? And if we get it at 96, all you got to do is put down 24K. The bank kicks in 70K, or I'm sorry, 72K, and it's a freaking 15% long-term cash on cash return man this is the kind of stuff we want to do 24k if you got a hundred thousand dollars folks you could do four of these deals right four awesome rentals like this right super low risk super smooth super easy and guess what it's a single so in five years 10 years 15 years whenever you decide you want to sell it we remove whatever tenants are in there or you wait till the market's up uh, the tenant naturally moves out. We do a nice little refresh, and you sell it for top dollar to an owner-occupant, right? If you get into really risky neighborhoods, you run into the risk of not being able to sell it to an owner-occupant on the exit. If you could sell it to an owner-occupant on the exit, you're really going to maximize what you make. So I do dig this one quite a bit. I also dig that it's in Lorraine, right? Lorraine, Ohio. It's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland, Ohio. My opinion, Lorraine, Ohio. Not a lot of people are paying attention to it. A lot of people are sleeping on it. People focus more so on the city of Cleveland, which I think is a mistake. I think the returns are better in Lorraine. I also think the landlord-tenant laws are smoother, easier, more landlord-friendly, and there's two naval bases being built in Lorraine County. And you know what that means? Another like three, 4,000 jobs. And guess what? More jobs, more demand for housing. That's better on your exit. It's also better on your ownership because you got more tenants, folks. All told, I think this is the perfect deal. Smooth, simple. Put like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these suckers in your portfolio, and you are cruising to a lot of passive cash flow. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.